In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, and fill the hearts of thy faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy Spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that by the gift of the same Spirit we may be tr truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, just to reiterate, this is copyrighted material. Uh, the website allows for people to have free use of it, just so long as they're not making money off of it, which we are not. Uh, my wife pointed out, just to mention, um, we are not doing this as a process um, required of the consecration. Um, it's merely a offering from the uh, militia of the Immaculata um, to help prepare for the consecration. Yeah. I, th I think with the Louis de Mumford one, the whole 33 days is like essential to the consecration. Right? Yes, and same with the Father Michael Gately formula. Okay, so this is a little bit different. This is just but supplemental reading. The way you explain this to me is that someone could in theory just read these eight chapters or what is it? However, yeah, however many chapters. Chapters all on the same day and then say the prayers of consecration the same day. I think they could also, in theory, not read anything and just do the consecration. But, this but it's just... still recommended to make your consecration on a Marian feast day. Yes. Yes. So we're working towards the Feast of the Annunciation. All right. So um, the second one, this is day two. We're dressed different. It's actually the same day. Um, happiness of all humanity in God through the Immaculata. St. Maximilian left behind a simple account of the first days that resulted in the founding of the Militia of the Immaculata, the MI. He emphasized how initially the association began with three fellow students of the International Seraphic College during the summer vacation. Eventually, the young friars joined them. Other young friars joined them. Let us listen to St. Maximilian's own memories of that historical October 16, 1917. Quote, Thus, with the consent of the Father Rector, on October 16, 1917, the first meeting of the seven members took place, namely, one, Father Paul, Father Glowinski, Father Biasi, Father Pignala Berry, Brother Mansi, or Mansi, um, and Brother Granada, and myself. The meeting took place at night in secret in a locked inner cell that was constructed by means of a temporary wall. In front of us, there was a little statue of the Immaculata between two lighted candles. Brother Biasi acted as secretary. The purpose of this meeting was the discussion of the program of the MI, the enrollment form, especially since Father Vasele, who was the counselor to the Pope, Benedict XV, had promoted had promised he would ask the Holy Father for the blessing of the MI." End quote. From the start, the plan outlined in the original charter of the MI is exciting and universal. Quote, to reach out to so many unhappy souls in order to strengthen innocent hearts in goodness, in order to help everyone draw near the Immaculata, the Mediatrix of all graces. In other words, the MI's plan is to work tirelessly for the happiness, bless you, of all humanity in God through the Immaculata. Yes, the young Maximilian was already an intelligent and creative strategist, an enthusiastic leader, able to bring others to get involved. Above all, he was a daring and passionate disciple of the Lord, who desired ardently the greatest glory of God, the spreading of his kingdom on earth as it is in heaven, and the authentic happiness of each person in him who was the only true source, and this through the Immaculata. Through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Maximilian encountered the Lord Jesus, and in him, the living water of eternal life, John 4.14. 4, We're very professional here. I'm sure they can hear our son rummaging through his toys in the background, um, which has to be shared with everyone. <laughs> At the foot of the cross, Mary. He's got to find that right train track. At the foot of the cross, Mary was the first one to welcome Jesus' thirst, the thirst of the crucified love, to quench the thirst of our hearts. Maximilian wanted the MI to be a docile, and generous instrument in Our Lady's hands for the fulfilling of his dream, the happiness of all people in God. And the word, if the word happiness appears constantly in his writings, we can be sure it's not by mere chance. When later Maximilian would trace the portrait of the Knight of the Immaculata, he wrote 
that a MI member does not confine his part only to himself or to his family, his relatives, his world, oh, excuse me, his neighbors, his friends, his fellow countrymen. Rather, along with them, he embraces the whole world, each and every individual person. For all were redeemed by the blood of Jesus without exception, and all are brothers and sisters. He desires true happiness for all, enlightenment through the light of faith, purification from skin, a rekindling of the heart through the love for God, a love that sets no limits. Let us be set ablaze by this passion for the one, for the true happiness of all humanity and God through the Immaculata. Let us make it our dream, together with the audacity of Saint Maximilian, by inviting others to a deeper relationship with Jesus through the consecration to Our Lady. There's quite a bit there. Does anything stand out to you? Just happiness, and the desire for happiness for everyone. Um, Yeah, that's one um, that originally when I sent that quote to you, I wish I had it on hand. I don't have it available. Um, where St. Maximilian says that um, the work of the Immaculata um, and this consecration is for the salvation of all souls, those that are born and yet to be born, um, which um, has a very, uh, has had a very profound effect on me recently. Um, you know, you and I have both been um, affected by some of the work of David Bentley Hart and his talks on universal salvation, um, which as Catholics, I don't think we're necessarily allowed to hold to, um, but it's a beautiful thought. Um, and in my reading of um, Hans von Balthasar, Dare We Hope, um, it seems that at the very least Catholics can hope for the salvation of all souls. And it seems like we at least have the backing of Maximilian here um, he doesn't say for um, for the ha for the happiness and salvation of some. It's you know um, for one's self, for one's family, relatives, neighbors, friends, countrymen, um, the whole world, each and every individual. For we were all redeemed by the blood of Jesus, without exceptions, and we are all brothers and sisters. So yeah, I like that universal um, call in this. Um, again, I don't think we're um, going to win. Um, hundreds and thousands of souls, as Maximilian has probably done uh, with his with his martyrdom and it, the, the charity. Um, but that's a powerful one for me. I think it's a it's a call to the like expansion of our hearts um, to kind of open ourselves up as a gift to others um, to bring others to to that happiness that's found in Christ. I'm sure they're probably going to go into it later, so I probably won't say much on it right now. But the other thing, though, is just the um, for for Saint Maximilian, what I'm reading now is that um, he didn't he doesn't see it as an option um, to bypass the Blessed Mother. He said um, one way or another, um, if you are saved by Christ, you have like basically come through Mary, whether you realize it or not. Um, so he makes it sort of an essential aspect of. Um, to Christ through Mary. Um, so that's another thing that kind of, um, they bring it up in here though, you know, through the Blessed Virgin, Maximilian encountered the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, so I think that's just something else to point out. That's a part of this, why we are, question arises, why consecrate yourself to Mary? Um, and that's, that's a big part that um, it's through her that we even have Christ. Um, so it's, it's in this spiritual, journey now that we we take as consecration that um she she again brings us to christ just like she brought christ to the world originally any concluding thoughts i can send a prayer in the name of the father son holy spirit amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.